Hi everybody, my name is John with cookingwithjohngruber.com and today I want to do something a little different. I'm not cooking today, I am just going to be talking about some of my favorite hot sauces and even hot pepper spices. <clears throat> so there's a couple of reasons why I like a lot of different hot sauces. And one of the reasons being is because not every hot sauce complements a recipe or even uh, as a topping for something that you're eating. The first one I want to talk about is going to be Frank's Red Hot Sauce. This one is rather versatile. However, I find it's best on chicken and maybe with some certain smoked meats. I, it does have a great flavor, great pepper flavor, not too hot, but does have a vinegary bite to it as well. So this one here, I really limit to chicken. I know that sounds really funny, but if I'm making wings, this is really the only one to have with wings. Now, um, not to say that that is the only one to have with chicken because there are a lot of others that here uh, that are great with chicken. Speaking of chicken, how about eggs? In the morning, I sometimes like to spice up my eggs and usually I use a Tabasco. In fact, Tabasco is so hot, I lost the label somewhere in my kitchen uh, during the time of this filming or even before the filming. Tabasco is one of my favorite things to have on eggs as well as sauteed potatoes. But with that, I also enjoy just a touch of ketchup to add a sweetness too. A lot of times when I go out to eat, many people just say, John, you're having spicy tomato potato soup because that's how much ketchup and hot sauce I put on my home fries or hash browns in the morning. Again, I don't know what it is about the Tabasco with the sweet and the heat. It's a great combination. A Tabasco has a nice pepper flavor, very vinegary, but not a bite to it. So it's not tart at all. It won't have any tang. It's really just going to give off the heat and the pepper flavor. Another one of my favorites especially during Taco Tuesday, is going to be the Valentina. Now this is a salsa picante. This is a massive jug, but I can tell you I do use a lot of this. I, when I have um, anything that would go with, well with like um, different uh, tortillas, for example, so a taco burrito, as well as it's delicious because of the heavy cumin flavor in this, great for jazzing up some Indian dishes as well. If you really want a uh, hot um, Indian dish, the cumin flavor complements any Indian dish as well. So like a tikka masala, delicious. A mutter paneer, delicious. Um, even palik paneer, that's also really good. Now paneer is a cottage cheese. It's an Indian cottage cheese. Very tasty. Oh, I can't get over how good it is. It's one of my favorites. But it's also good, you know, like a, a chicken quesadilla, again, going back to something with a little bit of a southern flair or even like a Tex-Mex flavor, um, delicious. It's also good mixed in a little bit of sour cream for dip. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, it is relatively cheap and that's why I buy the big bottle. The others, I don't want to go bad because if you notice, there's like a little bit of pepper sauce on the top of the Frank's Red Hot. That's really just because of the age. It's hard to use up enough of this. Yes, it's versatile. Yes, you can put on everything, but it's not necessarily meeting my flavor profile every time. The next couple are going to be more of an Asian spice. So we all know Sriracha. It became a hit in the States more recently, and it's a fermented pepper sauce. It is delicious, comes in a couple of different varieties. Yes, there's the, uh, the sriracha, which is kind of just a little like uh, runny sauce. Um, very smooth. Um, I don't want to say creamy because it's not really, the, that's more of the consistency, but it is a very spicy sauce. Has a great garlic flavor to it as well. Complements any Asian dish wonderfully. Like wonderfully, you can put it on just rice and it's it's just really delicious. Have sriracha rice. It's, mm, I can't get over how good it is. There's also two other, um, I guess, pepper sauces that are uh, a little chunkier and they're available from the same manufacturer. Don't ask me to pronounce the manufacturer of this because I will not. But the maker, the same maker that makes this particular uh, 
hot sauce is also going to it also has available a um, a smaller jar and it's just a pepper and garlic sauce and it's got the chunks of the pepper flakes in it you will see that it's a smaller jar you have to spoon it out and still has that garlicky flavor the other thing that they offer is just their peppers so there's no garlic flavor but that adds a nice fresh peppery heat to your dishes i do recommend picking that up if you don't often enjoy like a chinese or uh, like a sushi or like a japanese uh, inspired cuisine but i do recommend the, that that uh, pepper pepper sauce i don't have any you know why because it's a small jar and i use it quite often the next thing is something that I grow in my garden, and I like to call it my indoor-outdoor garden because I have a Thai pepper plant that I've had for two years now, and it has been planted outside. I brought it in for winter, and then I planted it again outside uh, this year. So it's giving me peppers, in fact, better peppers than ever before, and I like to just kind of collect them and let them dry on the windowsill in the kitchen and then I'm um, kind of given these papery little peppers and they have a great heat to it. Uh, when they're fresh, uh, they're also very good. Um, they also pack the punch, um, but I don't worry too much about these going bad if I don't use them up and I just leave them out. They just dry up on their own. Um, I'm probably risking some sort of potential for some sort of bacterial growth or um, mold. But at the moment, they I use these up faster than faster than anything. Um, so like the dried ones, they just look like little chips, and I'm so tempted to bite into one just as a snack. But I know it's going to be quite hot. And the last thing I want to talk to you about because you probably have this one in your home already, and that is just crushed red pepper flake. Now this is probably the best in Italian foods. I do like it uh, to top some pizza, definitely, I should say American Italian foods. American Italian foods, such as pizza, spaghetti, um, any pastas. It's great in a cream sauce if you want to add a nice heat to a cream sauce or a pepper flavor. Very delicious. Um, I like enough of it to where I feel the crunch and the burn all at the same time. And uh, yeah, this is, like I said, probably in your kitchen now too. But you may not use it enough so it is getting a little old be sure to check the expiration dates on all your spices spices because they're dried don't typically uh, go bad they don't expire they just lose their potency so there you have it uh, these are the spice um, spice sauces that I keep in my fridge at all time for all my cooking and I'm really glad you just stuck around to watch me talk about these and uh, hopefully you're able to try these with those particular dishes so that you can see what I'm talking about. Or if you have all of these already, do a side-by-side -side comparison. If you made a couple chicken wings, try it with the Frank's Red Hot, try it with this other one, try it with the Tabasco and see what one's your favorite. Let me know in the comments below. My name is John of cookingwithjohngruber.com and I'm more than happy to discuss any food with you there as well as um, help you become a better cook at home on a budget.